In this video, we'll review the quadratic formula and use it to solve a couple example equations. So as you might recall, the quadratic formula looks a little something like this. The solutions of the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 are x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of the quantity b squared minus 4ac, and that's all divided by 2a. So that's a big mess, but it's something that's really important and something that you should try to remember. But let's apply it now. So let's solve this equation. 6x squared minus 7x minus 3 equals 0. It's possible that we might be able to factor this equation, but the 6 in front of the x squared makes that quite difficult. So instead, let's use the quadratic formula. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So what are the a and the b and the c? Well, the a is the coefficient of x squared. The b is the coefficient of x, including that minus sign. And the c is that constant term, negative 3. So all we need to do is plug all these numbers into our expression. So we have negative b, which is negative, negative 7, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's negative 7 squared, minus 4ac. So 4, a was 6, and c was negative 3. And that's all divided by 2a, which is 2 times 6. So minus minus 7 is positive 7. Under the square root there, 7 squared is 49. We've got minus 4 times 6 times minus 3. And that works out to be 72. And then 2 times 6 on the bottom is 12. 49 plus 72 works out to be 121. And the square root of 121 turns out nice. That's just 11. So we've got 7 plus or minus 11 divided by 12. That gives us two answers. One of them is 7 plus 11 divided by 12. 7 plus 11 is 18. 18 divided by 12 simplifies down to be 3 halves. So that's one of my solutions. And then 7 minus 11 over 12. 7 minus 11 is negative 4. Negative 4 over 12 simplifies down to be negative 1 third. So we get two solutions, positive 3 halves and negative 1 third. Let's do one more. 2x squared plus 8 equals 5x. Now, just like with other quadratic equations that we would solve by factoring, it's once again important to get everything on one side. So let's subtract 5x from both sides and rewrite this equation as 2x squared minus 5x plus 8 equals 0. And now, once again, we're going to use our quadratic formula. So we get x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So our b is negative 5, so minus minus 5 is positive 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's negative 5 squared, minus 4ac. a is 2, c is 8. All divided by 2a, which is 2 times 2. So we get 5 plus or minus. Inside that square root, negative 5 squared is positive 25, minus 4 times 2 is 8, times 8 is 64. And then 2 times 2 is 4. So continuing on, we get 5 plus or minus the square root. Now 25 minus 64 is negative 39. And so what we realize here is that the roots of this equation, the solutions of this equation, don't exist. They're not real numbers because the quadratic formula would be telling us to take the square root of a negative number and that doesn't have a real answer. So that means that this equation has no solutions. The number under the square root turned out to be negative, in which case there aren't any solutions for x. And that will happen sometimes when you're using the quadratic formula.